This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2002 Ford F-350 uh, Super Cab. It's a four-door extra cab. It's a 7.3 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. It's a long bed. Um, this truck has 117,295 miles on it. It's a beautiful truck. Um, we never buy vehicles that have been wrecked or have any real damage to them, uh, but we usually just buy not uh, buy theft recoveries on salvage titles. We bought this on a salvage title. If you look in the before pictures, it was purchased from an insurance company in Houston. I mean, not Houston. I'm sorry, Phoenix. Uh, right in front of the driver rear wheel, there's a gigantic dent there. And when I bought it, I'm like, we'll just buy a new bed for it. And that's exactly how it happened. Um, so please look at the four before pictures. You'll know exactly why it was salvaged. There's still a little bit of a dent on the lower cab behind the door, behind the extra cab door. But other than that, I mean, this is a beautiful truck. Whoever owned this thing took great care of it. Um, I'll show you the Carfax. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. I'll show you the titles that we got and uh, the new title that we have. Uh, no secrets here, okay? Um, but uh, finding low mile 7.3s that were clearly taken care of until it got torpedoed, <laughs> um, they're hard to find, so I had to buy this one. It came, it did have this uh, push bumper on it. And when I saw that, I know that's a fortune for that guy too. That uh, I knew whoever owned this thing liked it a lot. Had a nice set of tires on it. Anyway, um, when we got it here, we do an inspection. This is what it looks like, okay? Uh, Rotella oil and filter change, air filter is new, both rear shocks, steering stabilizer, and a used passenger uh, side uh, leaf spring. Um, and of course, the bed which is obvious in the pictures why. It does have a little mount here for a CB, probably took it off. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you what's going on here. And when we get inside the truck, I'll show you the Carfax and all that stuff. Nice set of tires, I'd say 70 or 80% tread. Locking hubs there. Really pretty truck. This thing is gonna go super fast. This is how clean it is. These clean trucks with low miles, seven threes, do not last long. We'll have a photo gallery. See, this is the remnants of that right here. We didn't fix that just because I would add too much money to it. It's probably a five or $600 dent right there at Mako. It might be worth doing to somebody. This bed was a used bed, so it's not perfect. It's got this right here, but uh, it did the trick. Just a little. When I point at stuff, go if you want to look at that stuff, it would be a good idea. Uh, just kind of stuff that catches my eye. Uh, you can look at in the gallery, the little magnifying glass. You can zoom in on it and see. What I'm looking at, obviously, we, the the bed that uh, was on it had a louver tailgate already, so we just used that. Took it off the old bed and put it on this one. Nope. Give you my little deposit speech here, uh, which I usually do later, but. Once we have a negotiated price, we figure out what you're gonna pay for it, and we agree on something, please make sure you're ready to get the deposit on this one. It's $500. Once we have your deposit, we have a deal, and we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. This one is going to be quick. So if you're serious, get your, uh, get your money in quickly, because uh, you'll be very, very, very disappointed if you wait. This is going to be very quick. 117,303.2 miles. Anyway, uh, Kelly Blue Book for a long bed. XLT. That's what that is. It's got a suggested retail price of 15,103. I will tell you something. Because of this thing is so clean, it does, the title is not going to matter on this vehicle. People <laughs> aren't going to care. So uh, that's really not not an issue with this one. Uh, Carfax uh, sold at salvage auction from an insurance company. Uh, 
Carfax one owner vehicle, uh, passenger bedside, obviously. You put in the uh, retail value plus what Carfax says to do, and you end up with that. 15363 uh, Like I said, it is a one owner, and it's kind of obvious. It was in Oregon, and it was serviced beautifully. service was at 112,000 miles did a front wheel bearing hub so there you go that's that we bought it it was in Phoenix property and casualty uh, insurance company of Hartford there's the mileage now it's ours there you go so now you know all the paperwork that's what we have that's what it is all right I'm gonna open up the hood we're gonna look for Ford stamps on both sides of the effect on both fenders and on both sides of the core support that'll tell you that the parts are all original if they're not there then they've been replaced there's one there put some blow by here very very light blow by on a 7.3 that's extremely light there's your uh, Ford stamp there Ford stamp there, Ford stamp there. This is super pretty track. Wow. All right. What you have here. <laughs> Clearly, the back seat hasn't been used. Wow, wait. Here's your passenger front window. Door locks. God, I don't think anyone has sat in this thing besides the driver. This, these, the front passenger seat and the rear seat look brand new. This is a cool truck. We'll show you undercarriage here. Compared to this side. Work. Who's taking the stage? Here? Cool. 
Radio Works sister six disc changer. All right, overdrive off. There you go. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let me put it in neutral. We go to four low. Now we're in four low. Drive and reverse. That's in four low. Now we're gonna go to neutral. Go back to four high now. Now we're in four high. Drive. Reverse. There you go. That's neutral. Two wheel drive. Now we're in two wheel drive. I just noticed this also. Uh, it said uh, the next uh, oil change would be at 116.6. So he did have the oil change about three or four thousand miles ago. We just did it again. So there you go. All right. Let's take this for a ride. If you're going to come here to Tucson to drive it home, which you're welcome to do, this will be a nice road trip vehicle. Um, obviously, on a salvage title, you can't get insurance or plates. We can't print you out temporary plates. So we have to take it to the cops and do what's called a level three inspection. We charge $200 to do that. And if you're going to drive it home, it's mandatory. Um, then we have a $250 dock fee. Uh, and then we have taxes, of course. Uh, add 2%, which is our city sales tax, to your state tax, or you'll, you'll know what you're paying. So. If you're gonna come and drive it home, uh, this is simple. $200 to restore the title, plus $250 dock fee, and then your state tax rate plus 2% uh, tax here in Tucson, you'll know what you're paying. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Unless you want us to restore the title before it ships out, which I strongly suggest, unless you're sure you can do it yourself easily. Um, it's pretty cheap uh, as opposed to sitting around MBD all day long, um, which is what my guys have to do. Boy, this thing is smooth too. Wow, we steering box is real tight for a Ford. Holy cow! And most super cabs also rattle in the doors, and this one doesn't. Wow, we all right. I'll turn this thing around and jump on it here for a second. Let that guy get a lead on us here. All right, let's do it. runs great and it's really quiet this road we're on is a terrible road um, lots of potholes it's sort of like being in Bolivia or Beirut or something um, so what you're hearing is nothing that's a really good thing no rattles nothing um, anyway uh, so I explained uh, the shipping or driving the deposit thing I already discussed warranty this truck is out of warranty by many years and many miles. There is no warranty on this truck. If you're worried or you're anxious, please don't buy this vehicle. Um, if there's something that breaks on it, the day you get it, you're going to fix it. We are not fixing it. So please realize that, okay? Um, you're the owner, you're gonna fix it, we're not writing checks. If you don't like that, that's fine, but, but just don't buy from us, okay? Because we don't know what's gonna to happen to any one of these vehicles the day somebody buys them, okay? If we did, we would be billionaires, okay? We don't know, all right? So there's some risk involved. Please be ready to adopt some risk. This truck, obviously, by the Carfax and by the, you know, what we're looking at here and driving and inspecting and whatever is a beautiful truck. But you never know, the day you get it, could need an injector or it could need a window motor or a windshield wiper motor, or who knows? If it does, go get it fixed. Go get it done. Um, you're saving a bunch of money basically because of the title. Although not much, <laughs> the title's not going to matter a whole lot here, I don't think. In fact, I know because we sell these all the time. And uh, this one is going to be very fast and uh, nobody's going to care about the title. So anyway, uh, that's it. I have to give my tough love speech at the end, but uh, I love this truck. Uh, I think the next guy's going to like it a lot too. Thank you.